Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My brothers and sisters, we start off Bismillah in the name of Allah. Walhamdulillahi wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillahi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. It is very important for us to develop the right company. We should have the good company. We should be from among those who are good company for others. And this is when we will achieve contentment. Did you know that 90% of people are destroyed when they have bad company? Destroyed perhaps not fully, but partially too at times. Some fully. People who develop bad habits, bad ways of speaking, uh, and so on, all that is connected to the company you keep. The Prophet, peace be upon him, says, A person is known by the friends he or she keeps, the circle that he rotates with. So be careful whom you befriend. The Prophet ﷺ has said this, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also addressed the matter very powerfully, very simply, and he has actually said in Surah at tawbah verse number 119, يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وكونوا مع الصادقين. O you who believe, develop your relationship with Allah and be with those who are truthful. Be in the company of the truthful, those who are good. Be in good company. Be in truthful company. You will definitely get the fruits of this beautiful tree that you would have sown the seeds of by being in good company. It's not easy. Sometimes we have friends. We need to change those friends. If your friends do not teach you how to prioritize, then they are not true friends. I give you an example. When people get married, at times they forget that they are married. They spend the same amount of time they used to spend with their friends prior to marriage, even after marriage. Why did you get married? What contentment would you like? You have a wife or a spouse waiting for you. You have children who are desperate for your time. If you don't spend time with your family, with your wife, with your children after you are married and you spend it with your friends instead all the time, you will lose your contentment. You want to be happy? Learn to prioritize. So what if some of these people think that perhaps you're not being a faithful friend? You need to know what prioritization means. The truthful and the company of the truthful, they will in fact remind you to go home. They will all disperse early because the night belongs to your spouse. Remember that. It belongs to the Almighty, obviously. But in terms of companionship, go back to your family. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept it such that the night is for resting, reclining, and a few acts of worship as well. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us in this direction. So remember this beautiful piece of advice. If you'd like contentment, have good friends. Your friends should be better than you in character and conduct. Your friends should be better than you in the dedication that they have towards achieving goodness. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us success. We move on to Surah Yunus, which is a beautiful surah. And I'd like to make mention of a verse, verse number 12 of Surah Yunus, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about how man calls out to Allah when he is in need. The minute the need is fulfilled, he forgets Allah. He pretends like he never ever called out to Allah. This happens to some. In fact, it happens to a lot. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in verse number 12 of Surah Yunus, وَإِذَا مَسَّ الْإِنسَانَ الضُّرُّ دَعَانَا لِجَنْبِهِ أَوْ قَاعِدًا أَوْ قَائِمًا فَلَمَّا كَشَفْنَا عَنْهُ ضُرَّهُ مَرَّ كَأَنْ لَمْ يَدْعُنَا إِلَىٰ ضُرٍ مَسَّهُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, When man is afflicted by something bad, negative, he calls out to us, on his sides, or standing, or sitting. And when we have helped him and alleviated that suffering, he continues as though he had never ever called out to us for any need of his. So this is something that we need to take heed of. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from those who when we call out to Allah, we appreciate what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has done. When we ask Allah to cure us, we appreciate that by turning to Allah after we've been cured. So we spoke earlier about how some people are 
forgetful of Allah until problem comes. And in this verse, Allah is saying some people forget Allah after the problem is solved. So this is something that we need to bear in mind. You'd like contentment? Remember the days you used to call out to Allah. Remember the days when you used to cry to Allah. That is Allah. And he tells you, well, we cured you. We granted you what you wanted. Now we're going to see if you do what we want. Subhanallah, subhanallah. This is amazing. Actually, it's a gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all from his goodness. You know, there is something known as awliyaullah, the friends of Allah, those who are close friends of Allah. Allah says regarding them, they are the most content. They will be happy. They have no reason to fear or to be sad. So who are they? That's a, quick, that's a big question. People ask the question, who are the awliya? How do we recognize the awliya? The awliya are those who have two qualities in them. And you and I could be from the friends of Allah if we struggle and strive to get to that. What is it? Let's listen to what Allah says in Surah Yunus, verse number 62. أَلَا إِنَّ أَوْلِيَاءَ اللَّهِ لَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَكَانُوا يَتَّقُونَ لَهُمُ الْبُشْرَى فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ Allah says, Behold, the awliya of Allah, the friends of Allah, no fear upon them. They have no need to fear and they have no need to be sad. They will not fear. They will not be sad. Who are they? Alladheena amanu wa kanu yattaqoon. Just two qualities. Those who believe firmly in Allah and they, they are conscious of Allah. They have taqwa. Taqwa, as I said, is the development of your relationship with Allah in a way that you are conscious of the punishment of Allah as well as the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You become conscious of what Allah has given you and of who Allah is and the fact that you are going to return to Him. When you've developed these two things, Iman and Taqwa, you will not be sad, you will not have reason to be fearful, you will not uh, be... You will not be worrying at all because you know that I believe in Allah. I'm convinced Allah will take care of you. So let's try and develop these qualities and we will not have fear neither in this world nor the next. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala truly guide us and protect us. Then we go on to another of the stories of Musa alayhi salatu was a little bit of detail in Surah Yunus which is very interesting. I'm going to pick up on one point. We have difficulty, we have hardship. On earth. Allah did not say he will not give us hardship. We will go through a lot of hardship, but he will grant us contentment if we know how to process the hardship. Look at Musa alayhi salam. How long did he struggle for? Yet he was a prophet of Allah. His people, how long did they suffer for? Decades on end. But they knew they were helped directly by Allah. We go through challenges. How long are we going through challenges for? A long, long time. Wallahi, if you were to look at where we were 30 years ago or our fathers or forefathers, where they were a little while back, we are in a much better position materialistically than them in most cases. So this is something we need to look at. We become less grateful of the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yet we have much more than our predecessors, our fathers, and even our own selves some time back where we were and where we are now. But unfortunately, we're always ungrateful. That's man. So Allah says, Musa alayhi salam and his brother Harun, Moses and Aaron, may peace be upon them. They called out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala against the Pharaoh. Okay. When they called out to Allah against the Pharaoh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told them something amazing that, give, that gave them contentment. It made them happy. It made them smile. It made them know that, you know what? Everything's okay. What was that? These are verses in the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of in Surah Yunus, verse number 89. Allah says, قَالَ قَدْ أُجِيبَتْ دَعْوَتُكُمَا فَاسْتَقِيمَا وَلَا تَتَّبِعَانِّ سَبِيلَ الَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ He says, O oh Musa, O oh Harun, 
we have already answered your prayer. You've prayed for the destruction of the Pharaoh. Your prayer is answered. However, we want you to be steadfast and don't follow the path of those who don't know. You know. So don't follow the path of those who don't know. We have answered your prayer. We will grant you your prayer. It's already granted. It's just a matter of time. When we know the time is right, the Pharaoh shall be destroyed and you will be victorious. That's it. They were told that. My brothers and sisters, we should call out to Allah with similar conviction regarding our problems, our issues. Perhaps we don't want to wish the destruction of someone, but we definitely would like to wish for the protection of the Almighty and for goodness. So what happened? Years later, the Pharaoh was drowned. As wealthy as he was, it didn't help him. No matter what he tried, it did not help him. Every plan of his led to his ultimate destruction and every plan of Musa alayhi salam and his people led to their ultimate success. As confident as the Pharaoh was about his success, he failed. And as much as the people of Musa alayhi salam felt that they may not achieve success, they were successful. Musa alayhi salam and his brother knew exactly where they were heading, but some of the people were weak. They didn't really know, but they laid their faith in Allah and they continued ultimate success. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us success and contentment in this world and the next. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad.